Okay, so time is 6.42. So I went to bed about 8 o'clock last night. And uh, so what's that? Got about 10 hours. 10 and a half hours horizontal time, which is good. Got <laughs> organic cotton pillowcase and sheet and all that good. So I've got my glasses of water here. Start the day, I have about five of those. It's about 200 mils each. And then, uh, yeah, I'll put on some tunes. Let's see who we got on this morning. Be more aggressive with medication. If not, we've got if they don't Dr. Have McDougal. These factors that would predict. So every day, just always, you know, just waking up to some informative stuff. Great way to start the day. Okay, so water first, liter water. So this is a uh, this is mid morning snack. It's another thousand calorie, about twelve hundred calories smoothie. So it's uh, about eleven o'clock, and we've had. 2,500 calories for the day. This one's just bananas, dates, and water. Look at that perfect level. <laughs> mm. Tastes amazing. Mm. <sighs> chewing that juice, or well, chewing the smoothie rather. Mm. So, got a box of ripe bananas, this local certified organic grower. Got a box of uh, organic medjool dates on the other side of the world, California. Dates, bananas, water. Loving it. So today, how much exercise am I doing today? Zero! No exercise today. It's a total recovery day. Just sit around eating as much as I care for. This is about, we're coming up to close to 4,000 calories today. It's 1.50 p.m. So today will be five, six thousand calorie day with zero exercise, and uh, I think I've got a road race tomorrow and maybe a half marathon on Sunday. So, carbon up, topping up, relaxing, resting, hydrating, and just doing lots of work online as as every day is. So, massive calories, zero exercise today, lots of water, lots of rest. Sweet. Hello, folks. It's that time of day. It's Q and A with Duran Rider. Right, I've got a couple of questions here. My family thinks I have an eating disorder. I'm 170 centimeters tall and weigh 38 kilos. That's pretty light. I feel okay, but I don't have much energy and feel depressed when people give me a hard time. My latest blood tests show I'm deficient in iron. What should I do? What should you do? I'd start uh, ditching the eating disorder and uh, start eating enough calories each day so you can get more energy, so your glycogen tanks are actually full so you feel awake and you can deal with emotional things a lot better. You won't get depressed when people give you a hard time. You'll start to see an objection as a request for more information and be able to give it to them via better blood tests because you're getting enough calories, more energy because you're getting enough calories, increased lean muscular mass because you're getting enough calories you can you know, become fit and look like a, an athlete 
rather than a, a starvation camp victim. So if you're 170 centimeters and you're weighing 38 kilograms, you've got an eating disorder or you've got disordered eating. So we want to get ourselves healthy and fit so we can be a good example for those around us. Okay, next question. Brian Clement says that to today's fruit is 30 times sweeter than it was 50 years ago. Fruit has too much sugar and that causes cancer. Firstly, Brian Clement, great guy doing great things, uh, Hippocrates, but the notion that today's fruit is 30 times sweeter than 50 years ago means that 50 years ago to get 3,000 calories I'd have to eat 900 bananas versus 30 because 30 times 30 is 900 so how on earth would I be able to eat 900 bananas if that was the case 50 years ago 900 bananas for 3,000 calories I don't think so but I wasn't around 50 years ago. I've talked to Doug Graham on this one, and Doug was around 50 years ago, and he was, he says this, the fruit was sweeter as a child back then. And when I give fruit to my grandmother, who's 85, I give her cherries or apples or peaches. She goes, "This is just like I had when I was a child." You know, where did you get this from? I'm like, "Man, it's it's organic. You know, it's it's uh, quality." So the notion that Fruits sweeter these days is, is BS. Um, <laughs> it's incredible. Because if you people say, but that's not true, Harley. It's all hybridized. And it's like everything's hybridized. It's, you go to the Amazon, everything's hybridized. You know, Brazil nuts are, we are, everything's hybridized. Hybridization and genetic modification is two different things. Just ask a, a biotech researcher, they'll tell you that. Fruit has too much sugar and it causes cancer. Well, how come people? like Dr. Max Gerson put people in a high sugar, low fat, raw vegan lifestyle and cured cancer. How come all the cancer researchers in the world agree that a high carbohydrate, low fat, low protein diet helps restore the human immune system and prevent and overcome cancer? So that one's a debunked. Next question. What do you do about contraception? Being in you know, a raw food and it's like, well, me, I've had a vasectomy. People say that's unnatural, and it's like, uh, you know, personally, I think having a kid in today's society is unnatural, but that's just my choice. It's not a, a, a judgment on anyone else. So I've had a vasectomy, so I don't worry about that. Maybe, you know, you could become an, a, a nun or a monk. You know, you could use condoms or stuff like that. Or, you know, I've got a few friends that use the uh, withdrawal method, and they've had a few children with that one, so that works. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just got a vasectomy, you know. I just, if I want to have kids, I can adopt one day. I can be a mentor or a foster parent. I'm done with that one. Next question. Why didn't you just eat some eggs for B12 instead of taking big pharma products? Well, if animal products prevented B12 deficiency, then we wouldn't see B12 deficiencies in people who eat animal products, but we do. Um, let's remember that B12 deficiency was first discovered in people who do eat animal products. B12 deficiency occurs across society. Talk to your doctors, talk to your nurses, talk to your vets. Vets, that's right. B12 deficiency occurs in cats and dogs. You can get your cat, you can take feline and whiskers down to the vet and get them checked for B12 deficiency. You can take... Oscar and Fido down to the vet after you just fed them up full of animal when you can get them tested for B12 deficiency. So why not just eat an egg? It's like all my, out of, I know nine raw paleo friends of mine, good friends of mine. Yeah, I'm friends with people who eat animals, you know. Um, it's all good. Just because someone eats animals or cooked food doesn't mean they're not a friend of mine. Sometimes people assume that. They think, Harley, you're just a vegan Nazi. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vegan, man. I'm, I'm cool. I'm human too. I've got friends and... So anyways, all my nine raw paleo friends, they all have low serum B12. And they're all eating massive amounts of corpse and bovine drink and eggs and stuff every day. And it's like, so that one's debunked. Part of this lecture, Marketing Milk and Disease, has at least firmly established for you that milk is not necessary for good health. At least cow's milk for human health. Now I'm going to tell you about the real negative aspects of consuming dairy 